I am Anil Kumar and in this video I will discuss examples where the limit does not exist at a given point. The question here is provide examples of functions where limit does not exist at x equals to 2. Now basic criteria here is we have to check limit from both the sides. So what we need to prove here is that limit when we are checking as x approaches 2 from the left side for the given function is not equal to limit when x is approaching 2 from the positive side. right? So if that is the condition then it does not exist at 2. So that is the base for our examples. right? So in each and every example you have to see for yourself what is the limit as the function as x approaches 2 from the left side and what is the limit for the function as x approaches 2 from the right side and if they are different then it does not exist right so these are the examples which we are trying to consider right now there could be examples where it exists right so let me just draw a line here and we say oh green color for exists as to first give me exists right so that exists at x equals to 2 examples there could be a continuous function right or a function which has a whole right so so let me just sketch those quickly for you these are not the examples which we are bothered about at present we know we are talking about these functions so a polynomial function for example so at 2 the limit exists and a function which may have a whole let's say this is 2 and which may have a whole right so these kinds of functions we know uh, let us say at 2 the value is let us say 3 in these functions we are approaching a fixed value at 2 let us say at 2 the value is minus 1 so here in both these functions limit exists at 2 now we will talk about the functions where the limit does not exist so we will take few examples one we jump discontinuity Then we'll take examples with infinite discontinuity, right? You know, if there is a hole, then limit exists. Correct. Okay? So that is exists. But if you have jump discontinuity or infinite discontinuity, then you know, the limit does not exist. And then the third kind of examples are those where domain is restricted. So domain is restricted. So these are the three examples, types of examples, which we can take uh, for this particular case, right? So let me begin with jump discontinuity. A good example for jump discontinuity could be, uh, let us say the function f of x, uh, f of x equals to absolute x minus 2, since we are looking at x equals to 2 over x minus 2. Now this particular function, if you sketch the function, what do you get? So at 2, there is a jump discontinuity. Whenever it is greater than 2, then it will be plus 1. When it is less than 2, it is going to be minus 1. You can see this is the jump discontinuity and the limit does not exist. For infinite discontinuity, a good example could be the reciprocal function, correct? So let me sketch one here. So let us say there is a vertical asymptote at x equals to 2. So this is a vertical asymptote at x equals to 2. And the function could be kind of like this. So drawings actually help. So these figures will help you to understand why these are good cases to take, right? So in this particular case, the function which we are talking about is equals to 1 over x minus 2. So what you realize here that I have translated the functions 2 units to the right to give you those kinds of examples, correct? So let me take uh, one more example here where we'll talk about domain restrictions and a good example is square root of x. So if I have a function, let me write this function first as, can you tell me what this function could be starting at 2? square root of x minus 2. So here also you observe that 
the domain is restricted. So if the limit as x approaches 2 from the negative side for the function does not exist. Do you see that? It does not exist. Therefore, it does not exist here. Correct? Uh, another good example of the similar kind could be a semicircle. Semicircle could be one. So let us sketch one and then figure it out. So let's say if I have a semicircle like this with a radius of two. In that case, this point here is two. And in this case, limit for the function f of x does not exist when you approach two from the positive right side since the domain is restricted. So these are a few excellent examples which you can always give in such cases. I'll appreciate if you could write some more. You could also write piecewise functions. Let me give you one here just to add to this variety of the list we have. So you could write uh, that the function is equals to, let us say, x plus 5 when x is greater than 2. And some other value, which let us say at 2 this will be 7. So we can have x minus minus 2. So that is going to be 0. Uh, when x is, I should say, minus of minus 2. So that's in the other direction, right? Anyway, so like this when it is, when x is less than 2. So in this case also, since at 2 their value is not the same, the limit does not exist. Now this particular function, since I am including greater than and less than values, it is not continuous at 2 also. So likewise, you can study this and give some more examples of similar kind. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.